Wow, I don't know how I saved that. That was crazy. Yeah, welcome back to Instant Replay Live. That came out pretty good. <laughs> so, oh. you're gonna climb up this tower and hopefully end this level now. This is... Uh, this is not nearly the end, though. The, well, the end is never the end, is the beginning. The, what? <laughs> I what? can't follow that. The end is never the end is the beginning? I feel like this is, this is probably something that I, that I have no clue. I was just mindlessly referencing things. That's uh, another problem I have in yeah, life. It's yeah. Referencing things and not even realize what I'm referencing. That is most of talking to you, yes. Yeah. Which is why I feel like that last episode was maybe terrible, because all we did was... References. At least oh, we we kind of said what the game was. Yeah, well, we didn't say the game. We said uh, a couple of them. We did. I, I'm I sure know. every few quotes somebody was like, "Oh yeah." I'd like to point out that we're now referencing a, <laughs> an episode about references. And then you go deeper. Yeah, we'll we'll reference this episode in ten episodes, and then oh, shit. and then in five episodes we'll reference that we're going to reference this episode in five oh. episodes, and then and then. <laughs> I don't know. I can't keep it going. Um, wow. Oh. So I, I want to, um, first of all, <clears throat> I think uh, I was a little disappointed when we when we brought in a, a character recently because I, I felt the compulsion and lack of confidence where I had to explain that character immediately after we did it. I was like, oh, if you didn't know what that was. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I felt, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm working my way through it. I well, know where I'm going. Okay. Um... I, I felt like I <clears throat> I had to explain something that didn't need explanation. I should have just ran with it, and uh, and and I feel like I need to work on that as a as a presenter on a let's play. But also, we have the perfect opportunity to redeem that character now, because I heard something uh, I heard something today on the radio. So if you'll excuse me, I need to get our friend the the news atar guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I'm gosh. back. I, you'll never believe what's going on in New Jersey, Joe. What's going on in New Jersey, New Jersey? Oh, you'll, you'll never believe it. There's this house, <laughs> and it's there's this family who've got this this letter uh, from someone who's calling themselves the Watcher. <laughs> and so, all right, dropping the news atar. Um, Seriously though, there is there is this family that is trying to sell a house in New Jersey right now, and they were talking about it on the radio, and it just blew my mind. I had to look it up. Um, they bought the house, and they're claiming under false pretenses that the person who was selling it before them knew exactly what was going on. As soon as they moved in, they received a letter from someone saying that they are the watcher of the house, and that they have been... Um, Uh, been watching them move in and <clears throat> um, they had asked the previous sellers to give them new blood and they're glad they did because they see that this the new occupants of the house have children oh my god you're you're not joking no no this is all a real story this is a real news story uh, now granted there's some some debate as to whether the letters are real or faked you know it could be a local teenager it could be a crazy person it could be a really crazy person who wants to hurt someone or it could be the family that's living in the house themselves trying to get on the news, you know what I mean? So there's a lot of debate there. It's not a, it's not a set thing. But literally, these, these letters, they're almost poetry. They go on and they're like, um, My grandfather watched the house in the 20s. My father watched it in the 60s. And now it has been passed to me. And the house is not happy with you. <laughs> like, they say, you've renovated it. You've made changes. Stop making changes. Um... Uh, the house wants to be left alone. The house wants to be like it once was when I roamed the halls pretending to be rich. Wow. It's super poetic and super creepy. Um, it is literally like... I, I'm somewhere torn between thinking it's like one of those crazy things I mentioned where it could be like a scam or whatever, or just viral marketing for a <laughs> new horror movie. But it was it was a really good story. So it's a house in New Jersey... The person sending the letters is called The Watcher. Very easy to look up. I, um, I heard it on the radio, and then I came home and looked it up. It's super interesting stuff, and super terrifying, too. So they're trying to sue the previous sellers of the house and um, sell the house themselves at the same time, which I think is kind of crazy, because that's like doubling their investment. Plus, um, they want to probably get like a book deal, movie deal out of this or something, you know, end up on Lifetime. So these people stand to gain an awful lot, which is a real concern. I'm not saying, I mean, honestly, 
you know, I'm not saying anything about them. They could be totally genuine. This could be a real crazy person who's har harassing them, and I wish nothing but the best for them. But it's a little, like, a little fiction, right? Well, that brings up another interesting point. Uh, who do we want to play the Watcher of the house? <laughs> when when the Lifetime my, my movie gets made. My mind immediately goes to Kevin Spacey, but he's I was going to say Kevin Spacey. He's kind of already done that, like, that psycho niche, though. So, well, like, he's done it plenty of times, yeah. Right, yeah, so we need... You know, as much as I love the old Spaceman, uh, uh, Spader would also be good. Ooh, he kind yeah. of just did a crazy role. Yeah, exactly. Um, and he's done others too. He was in, you know, Secretary and other movies as well, where he's he's definitely not balanced. Um, Edward Norton could be interesting. Oh, interesting. Oh, huh. shit. I don't know if I. I don't think I would want it to be him. I feel like it has to be almost an older person. Gary Oldman. Uh. <laughs> Because Gary older man. Well, I guess he would still fit. Um, but Gary Oldman could fit. No, no, not no. Gary Oldman, yes. I was talking about Ed Norton. But yeah, um, Oldman would be good too. I guess the question becomes like, when do you stop being the Watcher of the House? Because you. Um, oh, you're saying like a franchise? We could have a ton of different actors play the no, Watcher. No, no. It's. I mean, he said his grandfather and his father before yeah. him. Yeah. So, right. like, when did his father stop? And at what point? You know. Obviously, Anthony Hopkins for the father. Oh, like no yes. doubt. Yes, no doubt. 100%. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, who plays crazy old people really well? Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think the age of the the father kind of determines the age of the current watcher as well. But it would be interesting. Who plays the family in your your version? Um. Oh, 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 oh my god, Joe. <laughs> Why are you terrible at this game? Um, you know, I just really love dying in general. Yeah. Just What's wrong with you? It fascinates me. How could you get all the way there and die? <laughs> How could I? I am a bastard. All right, who's your family picks? Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of who's, like, really innocuous. Um, <laughs> the problem is, how do you, like, wh wh uh, how do you make just, like, a family innoc innocuous. Like, how do you select actors for that? Kevin Bacon. He's not innocuous, but he would still work. Uh, I guess so, yeah. You could, <laughs> you could bacon anything. Yeah. Um, or you just cast the entire cast of Full House. Oh, nice. <laughs> like, anywhere you look, <laughs> <laughs> there's a watcher who's laying eyes on you. <laughs> it works. It fits all too well. It's good. Uh, Markiplier, I guess. Markiplier? Because can you imagine Markiplier in a movie just being scared? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> I'm not going in there. Oh, what was that sound? <laughs> I would love it. Why is it? Why aren't YouTubers getting more movie deals? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes, that needs to happen. Markiplier uh, in a horror movie for 20. 16. Oh, he was right there, <laughs> waiting to mark me. He, he got you. You got marked? I don't... Oh, mark, like Markiplier. I get it. I, it took me a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know who Markiplier's wife would be. Aaron uh, Hansen. <laughs> I think it's finally time to mention Kitty Cat Graming. Oh, no, it isn't. Is that oh, oh is is that not is that gonna be forever an inside joke? I thought so, but now it's too now late. It's, now it's too late. What yeah. is Kitty Cat Graming? I can't. You're the one who made it up. What do you mean? What is it? What is it, Nick? I can't answer that. You have to answer that. <laughs> you're the one who brought it up and made it up. I my think. terrible impression of uh, I can't Susie. From Mar yeah, it, Mortimer. Susie. Mortimer. Yeah. yeah. Hello, this is Mortimer from Kitty Cat Graming. <laughs> Which, where that R comes from, I have no idea. <laughs> I think it was just me, like, yeah, saying Yeah, no, that. I know, yeah. yeah. But, but now yeah. it's locked into as part yeah. of your impression. So, uh, yeah. that's the only Susie impression. I don't say yeah. anything else with Susie. No. Um, <laughs> Hi, welcome to Kitty Cat Gramming. It's a <laughs> South Park level impression. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. Ooh. Uh, he's back. Oh, is that so? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, everybody. It's me, Markiplier. <laughs> With Kitty Cat Graming. Kitty Cat, that's what he calls her. In <laughs> it's like in the movie. <laughs> he calls her Kitty Cat Graming. Oh, man. I feel like we're being watched. I got this letter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the letter is super creepy, though. It does say, like, 
Can you tell me which rooms the young bloods will be in so that I, they will come to me when I call to them? Young blood, young money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, who would fill out the perfect children for Markiplier and Kitty Cat Graming? <laughs> tell us in the comments. Maybe uh, cast the the friendly neighbor who the watcher has to kill mid movie. Um, with YouTube stars. With YouTube stars. Like Matt Pat. And then um, Matt, that would be great. And then go to those YouTube people and tell them to come watch our show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> go to them physically. Well, isn't Markiplier already following us? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching Instant Replay Live. <laughs> Really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.